Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and today we are getting into another review of the brand new Monster High reproduction dolls for 2022. These are, as you can see, the Boo Original Cree Productions, and I am so excited. I've never opened up a Claudine Wolf. Um, like an original one. Uh, obviously, this is a reproduction of that. So I'm excited to see um, how they differ and hear your comments about the reproductions down in the comments section below. But as you can see, the box here, just a very faithful representation of the original launch here. Uh, we do have the pet here and we have her in her beautiful outfit along with the diary and everything. We're gonna check all of this out though. Um, on the back side, uh, we do have a little read up here and some information about Claudine Wolf on the side. So if you like to pause the video and go ahead and read that for yourself, uh, you can do that now. But I am just loving everything here. We have the other, uh, all four of the original ghouls down here at the bottom. And also important to note, on the bottom of the box, it does say copyright 2021 on the bottom instead of copyright 2008 or 2009, um, back when these were originally launched. But I am very, very excited to get into this box and open everything up. I noticed that we don't have, I think there was a window up here on the original ones, which we do not have uh, present here as well. But as I said, I'm gonna open this up and get into it and it's gonna be such a joyful experience. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, if you wanna see more Monster High reproduction videos like this in the future. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not already as well, because lots of fun stuff happens there that you definitely don't wanna miss out on. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get Miss Claudine Wolf here out of the box so we can check everything out and I'll tell you what I think. Now, just in case you wanted to see an easy way to open these up, if you take the flaps up here at the top and you kinda of go ahead and separate everything, you can get this top part of the box open here and you can pull the flaps aside and then you have the ability to pull out the entire center holster of the doll by keeping the box and everything intact. So that's very nice in case you weren't familiar on how these open. Um, but you can see here that we have access to everything in the front and all of the ties here on the back. So let me go ahead and untie her and we'll get into things. All right, so I have everything laid out here on the table as you can see, but you know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and take Claudine here and set her off to the side just for a little bit so we can take a look at everything else that comes inside of the box here. The first of which being her diary. So we have the diary that belongs to Claudine Wolf. And of course it is filled with all sorts of entries inside of this diary. And I'm not 100% sure if this is all accurate to the originals as I do not have an original uh, Claudine Wolf to compare it to. I will be comparing the Frankie that I have. Um, so we can check that out in a later video. And uh, it does say copyright 2021 down here at the bottom as well in case um, you were wondering if this was like uh, original print or whatever. They've obviously redesigned this a little bit to have newer copyright dates on it. Anyway, it's a diary, fun, fun, fun. Uh, we also do have her stand here and her tiny little waist clip as well. Um, so you can put that on the back support there and you can clamp it down to this Monster High base. You can see Monster High written right there across the front. Um, on the back, you can tell it is the original mold. It says copyright 2008 on the back there and you can just kind of scoot that in there and be able to stand up your Claudine Wolf. Uh, we also do have her brush here as well, uh, which does say Monster High across it. Uh, these are no different than any other Monster High brush. They're all the same, but I do love them. They're very cute. Um, and then we also do have Crescent, her little pet. Look at that, cute little Crescent. Uh, very cute little eyes there and the little tail as well. So this is Crescent here. And it does compare, I believe, pretty accurately to the original pet, but let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. We also do have her little purse accessory here as well with all the buckles and zippers on it. Uh, of course, this does not open, there's nothing inside of it, but it is her purse. And we'll go ahead and check that out on Miss Claudine Wolf here in a second because we are going to take a look at everything that she has to offer. Look at this gorgeous doll. Uh, it's so nice to see these back in the wild. I think that she compares pretty faithfully to the original wave, but you can go ahead and tell me down in the comment section what you think 
about the original Claudine Wolf versus the reproduction Claudine Wolf. But let's go ahead and take a look at her face here real quick. You can see that we have this nice dark lip color here. Um, she does have her little fangs sticking out. And we do have some shimmery makeup on her eyeshadow there and her beautiful eyebrows as well. Uh, as far as her rooting goes, everything looks pretty nice. I was combing through it before and I don't see any possible issues here. She does have her earrings there as well through her ears, um, which can actually be removed. Uh, you can see that they do also move up and down. So you can twist those out. There's just a little, uh, little cut out in them on the side. You could twist them out if you wanted to, um, but look at how gorgeous her face is. Everything about these reproduction dolls are on point, even down to the original uh, copyright date, which I believe says on the base of her neck, it does say copyright 2008. It's very, very hard to see, um, but you can see we have her fluffy, her fluffy collar there and everything. She does also have her necklace here as well as her choker up at the top. They're being held in place with a little rubber band uh, just to kind of keep them centered. Um, so you can go ahead and remove that if you want to. But um, as far as her outfit goes, everything with her outfit looks fantastic. Like I said, I was comparing it to some photos of the original first wave launch and it looks pretty faithful to the originals. Um, I should note that uh, you can remove the jacket or any of their clothing and they are able to be removed via Velcro on the back here. As you can see, uh, this little belt just has little, uh, a little, little notch there that you can go ahead and you can easily remove the belt if you wanted to. Just trust me on this one. It's hard to show you on camera, but um, everything here just looks amazing and the little ruffles on her shirt there, as well as her skirt down here at the bottom with uh, a couple of layers, including uh, this little lacy layer there at the bottom. And then we have this shimmery purple fabric up here at the top. Um, now these have ball joints in their legs, unlike the original releases that had elastic. I'm glad they didn't use the elastic because uh, that was a problem. And these seem to hold their pose a lot better than having the elastic in them. But let me know if you're team elastic or if your team um, ball joint down in the comments section, her belt keeps moving all around. I, I should note that her belt was being held in place with a rubber band as well. Um, her little hand was kind of rubber banded to her waist like that. Uh, but I went ahead and clipped that just to show you guys uh, more, a little more detail on the belt and everything like that. But I think that her outfit here overall is just stunning. I love the glittery little stripes that we have here on the shirt and then I love this purple fabric as well. Uh, she does have these like fishnet stockings here at the bottom and then she has buckles all the way down the boot and a nice big platform heel here as well. You can see there's a slit down the back also in order to be able to easily take those off. But everything here, oh, she just looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I. I'm really digging it. As far as her articulation goes, really there's not going to be a whole lot different than what we're used to in recent years anyways. She does have a ball joint in her head, so you can go ahead and freely move that around as you please. Um, we do also have the ability to swivel her arm around full 360, so her hair was getting caught in that, sorry about that. Uh, she does have a joint in her elbow that can allow that to move, as well as a swivel in the elbow as well. Same with the hand, we can move that up and down and turn it all around like that, so that is nice. Uh, as far as her legs go, uh, it's important to note there is no torso articulation as well, but her legs can kick up a full 90 degrees and kick back a full 90 degrees. Um, she does have, as you can see, a swivel in her knee joint, and we can move those back as well uh, 90 degrees like that. Whoa, that was getting a little tough there. There we go. Uh, and. That is about it. I mean, she doesn't have any arti or ankle articulation or anything like that. It's pretty faithful. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we do have ball joints um, on her legs instead of elastic, which I personally think is a better a better move in terms of like the whole, uh, you know, keeping everything together. And I love her little ears that poke out of the top. It's so, it's so adorable. She's such an adorable doll. Uh, definitely a fan favorite for sure. And I think that she looks absolutely stunning. Real quick though, let's go ahead and check her out with her purse on her arm. There you get the full effect there with Miss Claudine Wolf. I think that she 
is absolutely amazing. And I'm just, I'm really happy that everybody is able to now get their hands on, you know, original looking reproductions. And it's not like a reboot like we saw previously where kind of everything was a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm trying to get her to balance here. It's just really nice that we're all able to get our hands on these, at least ones that look like the originals um, for a pretty cheap price. So I, I can't get her to stand, I give up. But that being said, I'd love to know what you think about uh, Claudine Wolf here down in the comment section below. I think that she looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. She just, she looks so amazing, right? Oh my gosh. So let me know your thoughts about Claudine Wolf down in the comments section below. And don't forget Crescent, he's, he's here as well waiting for your comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? There's a lot of fun happening over there, including pictures of Miss Claudine Wolf and all of the rest of the ghouls from the Boot Original Cree production line of Monster High here in 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that. That is amazing. But thank you so much for spending just a little bit of time with me here today as we take a look at these beautiful ghouls and see what they're all about. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.